Hey, Eric. Hey, Martin. How's it hanging? I'm pretty good, but... Wait a minute. Are, are you supposed to correct me? Uh, correct what? The real Harry would never let me call him Harry. Who are you? Harrison! My name is Harrison! Who are you even talking to? Who are you? I'm you. I'm you from another dimension. The final calculations have been made. And everything appears to be in working order. It's only a few moments now until we activate the interdimensional transporter and change the course of human history forever. All right. So, Harry, there you are. Are you guys ready? Skin's been run. Flames was clear. Wouldn't want you to materialize inside of anybody. You'd displace all of their atoms instantly, making them explode violently. <laughs> We wouldn't want to have come all this way just for President Joe Biden to shut us down for a couple of interdimensional murders. So what do you say? You ready to become the first interdimensional jumper, Harry? You kidding, Martin? I was... I was born for this. Your particle accelerator exploded <laughs> just as I went through the transporter, which sucked me through, but broke the machine, because they haven't come back for me. But it also gave me my abilities. It allowed me to wor open wormholes to anywhere I want to go, so long as I focus on it. Okay, but this is the breaker. Wh why are you in a breaker? Well, I'm trying to find a way back to my home but universe. This isn't a lab. You. This is just where you come to get coffee. Okay, I'm. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not a scientist. On my earth, I'm just a blogger. I won the dimension jump in a lottery. Thought it'd be fun. Harry, I, I think your doppelganger might be a bit of an idiot. This is ridiculous. I've spent hundreds of thousands of hours in the lab just trying to figure out if the multiverse even existed. And then this moron comes, puts his name into a hat, and gets to jump to an entire other universe. It's just not fair. Yeah, but we get superheroes. All the more reason to help me get back home, though, huh? 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 I hate you so uh. much. All right. I finished the modifications to the particle accelerator. When you go in there, you should be able to route the exotic energy through your body and out through your hands. If you're holding a portal, it should multiply your power by a few thousand times. If you do that and you focus on Earth 2, you might just be able to go home. All right. No idea what that means, but I'm excited. You excited? No. All right, then. Let him up, duck. All right. Something's going wrong. These, these energy levels, they're through the roof. Oh. Oh no, no, we have to shut it down! Shut it down! I'm picking up a lot of extra-dimensional energy. You think it's Harry trying to get back through the interdimensional barrier? I, I hope so! So it didn't work then. Nothing's changed. Oh no, Harry, it worked. Works better than you could possibly imagine. Uh, Martin, I want you to do a scan on the matter in this room. Oh no. Uh, there's twice as much matter as there should be in this room. And uh, there's, there's DNA particles in the air. Mine and Bruce's, but... Bruce hasn't been here for two months. What's, go what's going on? That's because that DNA doesn't belong to you or Bruce. So what are you saying? What I'm saying is that we just experienced a vibrational cascade. 
the DNA that's in the air, it doesn't belong to our Martin and Bruce. It belongs to your Martin and Bruce. We didn't just send you into Earth 2. We sent the entirety of Earth 1 into your universe. The only problem being, of course, is that there was already an Earth there. So essentially, due to some very complicated physics that you definitely have no chance of understanding, when our Earth came into your universe, the entirety of your planet was displaced, disintegrated, vaporized, whatever you want to call it. So what you're saying is that we just destroyed the entirety of Earth 2. <laughs> no, Harry. I'm saying you destroyed the entirety of Earth 2. I'm... I'm so sorry, Harry. I... I have to go. This is just... this is... This is... this is too much. We've gotta fi fix this, Harry. Is there, is there something we can do? No. There's nothing we can do to restore an entire universe. So unless you have been hiding a time machine somewhere, we're just gonna have to live with the guilt of this on our conscience for the rest of our lives. It's funny you should mention that, actually. I'm you. From the future. <laughs>